Oh, look at all of you early birds. Hello, hello. How's everybody? Can y'all hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Sherry. If you guys will do me a favor, um, we're going to have the majority of the meeting will be muted. If you guys will go ahead and mute yourselves, you should have a little um, bar of controls at the bottom. And on the bottom left-hand side, there's a microphone. If you'll click that, that will turn your sound off. And we will have a time for questions at the end. But that way, if a kid runs in the room or the doorbell rings or kids are crying, um, you can do that. And then that there will be less um, feedback on my end when we get started. And we'll wait just a few more minutes, but thank you guys for joining me. As I have a child yelling for me right now. Yes, Emma. Vanessa, way to go. Two today. Two. Yes. Yay. That's awesome. Can you hear me? What'd you say? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. All right. Tanner with the headphones. Gotta love it. Look like an air traffic controller. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Hi, Virginia. Yeah, I'll put my picture up there, Jennifer. <laughs> you can, so what you can do is if you can actually click one of those little pictures at the bottom. I don't know how to do it. Actually, oh, okay, that's all right. You can't do it. <laughs> For those of you who are just joining us, if you'll go ahead and mute your yourself so through the meeting, so as I talk, there won't be as much reverberation. If you just click on that little microphone on the bottom left, you can. Um, some I don't have raise a hands. microphone on the bottom left. You don't. Sometimes no. on the phone, I don't know. Are you on your phone, Sarah? I'm on my iPad. I don't know because I've never done it off an iPad. You're not going to bother me. I mean, there was a couple people that were not muted this morning, but if everybody's unmuted, then I hear like birds chirping outside and kids crying and all that. So <laughs> it's, not, it's not a big deal. Okay. okay. Somebody's raising their hand at me. This is funny. I don't know what that means. Hilarious. Who is, who is lamb 17? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so excited. We might actually like hit our uh, maximum on this tonight. And so we might have to kick people off, which I hate having happen. Okay, I'm not seeing or hearing anything. I don't know. Hold on just a second. Um, so Lamb 17, what's the close? Okay. Sorry, I'm just taking care of a little challenges. Awesome. Okay, so if you're with me and you've got TV on in the background, if you can turn that off or put yourself on mute. Please. Oh, Marilyn, do you, do you see the microphone at the bottom left? Yes. Can you click on that and that's going to mute you and we'll unmute at the end and we'll talk and um, I'll open up to questions. Uh oh, something happened. Okay, somebody's sending me a message. I just want to make sure that everybody's good. This is going to be recorded. So um, if you have team members that miss out or wanted to watch and they're not able to, sorry, I'm just making sure that this is okay, um, that it'll be recorded and posted tomorrow. Awesome. Oh, I love this, seeing all your faces all at the same time. Thank you for being here. I'm going to go ahead and start. It says that my name is Philip Mango, which is hilarious. Y'all know that I'm Jen. Um, this is our kickoff day for silver boot camp for june and um everybody that's on this call is um or on this meeting has expressed an interest in really seeing their business grow and has a goal to get to silver this month and so thank you for being committed to your business um some of the people that are on this call i know have already achieved silver and are looking to turn silver every month and that's really our goal with our business the of our business is that we can grow as wide as we want to and so 
for those of us who've been around for a while, we know that sometimes people join our teams and they think that they have a business or they think that it's the right opportunity and it ends up not being. And so we are constantly looking for new people to share this information with. And so um, a goal to go silver every month is a great goal. So what is silver? For those of you who are new, um, silver is a rank, one of the, the first real rank that Plexus has that it has a bonus attached to it. And um, that bonus is $100. And basically to achieve that rank, you must add three personally qualified ambassadors. What is that a personally qualified ambassador? A personally qualified ambassador is someone who purchases a welcome pack or spends or has $100 or more go through their um, NPV, go through their back office or through their account. So um, three personally qualified ambassadors. Now, if Tracy is under me and signed up as my level one and I don't have any other level ones, but Tracy has three people under her. I still have a team of four people, but I'm not silver. And the reason why silver is so important is because in our compensation plan, we are paid all the way down our first three levels once we hit. <coughs> so um, that means that if Tracy has those people under her and she's making money off them, if I'm not silver, I'm not making money off of them. And that's, a horrible horrible thing we never want our business to be in a position where we're missing out on dollars because plexus makes it very easy and our comp plan is lucrative enough that you can make money from the very beginning and um, that that beginning piece is really substantiating silver I want to pick up for just a second and make sure that um, I go over briefly expectations for this group um, I love the participation it, I know it's summer, it's the beginning of summer, so there's gonna be an ebb and flow in what your commitment can be, but I'm gonna ask that you be committed to this. Um, I say all the time to our team that whatever you do today will impact your business and ultimately your paycheck 60 days from now. So if you're not committed today because you, you know, family's in town or the kids just got out of school or it's too hot outside, whatever your reason, you can't expect that two months from now in August that you're going to be reaping the benefits of seeing your business um, growing. And commitment does not mean that you have to work this job 40 hours a week. I do not work 40 hours a week, but I work each and every day to help build my business in some form or fashion. So some expectations. We're going to be committed. And the committed means that if we're committed to this, and we're saying yes to Plexus, then we're more than likely having to say no to something else. And that's hard. Most of us, most people in the world that are average say yes to lots of things. And while we all wear different hats and, roll, and have different roles, um, the most successful people in anything say yes to very few things and no to most. So you might have to do some self-reflection at the beginning of this journey and say, where is it or what is it that I can cut? You know, for me, um, honestly, it was TV, some TV time. It was some dawdling time on Facebook. Um, it was probably some busyness of doing various different things, but I have to be committed to my, my business and to you guys in order to grow. Um, another thing that we want to make sure is that we're consistent. If, if, like I said, I've had more people tell me, well, I don't think so-and-so is selling Plexus anymore. I haven't seen any posts in a while. I know Erica Garcia can attest to this. She's heard it over and over and over again and preaches this to her team. Consistency is key because once people see you, the minute that they have that moment where something doesn't fit in their closet or a family member's diagnosed at the doctor's office with diabetes or whatever it might be, we want them to remember us. So we have to make sure that we're present in front of them, and that's by being consistent. I know a lot of you have, I know Tracy, on, she's so good. She gets up at like, I don't know, 5 a.m. or earlier, and I see her post, and she's every single morning, she's given her time, and she's being consistent with that, so that's awesome. Um, I'm also going to ask that there's no negativity. You guys do a really great job of this. I see negativity on other team pages, but especially during this journey, I don't want you to get frustrated, and I don't want to see you breed negativity. Um, if you have a problem or an issue, or if you're frustrated with something, go to your upline and share there. Don't start getting all riled up and worked up amongst yourselves because it's just not productive. Um, ask for help when you need help or when you don't know the answer to something, but be willing to go to the source instead of to your ambassador. So 
if Patrice reaches out and says, Jen, I need help. I don't know how to explain the comp plan to my girlfriend. Then I'm going to walk her through that one time. But then the next time, if she comes back and says, I need you to walk me through that comp plan. I'm going to say, tell me what you've done. And the last time since we've met, have you sat down and looked at this? Have you researched it on your own? I'm going to send you back. We have so many resources, guys. You have your back office. We have our files on our team page. We have um, YouTube videos. We have, um, if you, almost any condition, if you Google that word and Plexus, you're going to pull up Facebook posts and testimonies. There's tons and tons and tons of group group pages, there's group pages for pregnant moms with Plexus, and there's group pages for ADD and ADHD, there's a group for cancer, there's a group for just about every condition out there, um, so avail yourself, and if you don't know how to find that group, then ask your upline or ask us, and we'll help point you in the right direction, um, and that goes into be a researcher, I want to set the expectation now, too, that at the end of this month, I want to see each and every one of you, as you turn silver, to have a team page. And let's talk about why that's so important. When you have three people that are underneath you, you're the leader. You're the team leader. And you want to, from the very beginning, start to brand yourself. I know Sherry Spangler's on. She does a great job of um, branding herself as Plexus Fit Mom. And so she does lots and lots of posts and Instagram things where she uses that tagline in all of her posts so that there's this consistency throughout. We all have a story. We all have a why and a reason why we were brought to this business. Find it, plug it in and connect it to who you are and then start to build a brand around yourself. But I want you to start thinking now, 30 days from now, you're going to have a team page. And the importance of that team page is so that you can start to create that culture between the people, between you and your team of feeling a sense of camaraderie. I, there's nothing better to me than when somebody posts something and y'all all take care of it. Right? You jump in. Oh, I've tried this. Have you heard of this? No, I hadn't done that. Let's try this. You guys are the ones that can build up and support and encourage one another. And that's such a great thing. And then when there is an issue, a team page is a great place to um, get that support and problem solve. And then when you're, oh, there's a doggy. <laughs> Sorry. And then, that's okay. And then you are in a situation where, um, where there's a celebration. We talked about meeting. If, if you can find the mute button, that's great. If not, that's okay too. Um, Mr. Mango is now on the sidelines giving all kinds of input in my ear. So he's helped me lose track. But if to celebrate our victories, right? Because we, we can post all those things to everybody else, but we know our each other's journeys. And so that's what that team page is good for. So those are the expectations. You're going to get homework every week from these groups. Don't let that stress you out. Don't be overwhelmed by that. But this, this homework is really going to be all directing, helping you get towards that goal of becoming silver by adding to your team and growing, growing your team. And so your homework will be given at some point during this video. I'm going to ask that you don't share the homework because what we really want to see happen is that people come back, watch this video, get the teaching that goes along with the homework, and then we'll have some little incentives next week when we share um, what we've been able to do if we've been able to complete the homework. All right, so we wanna become silver. We talked about that what it is to become silver means that you get you have that rank status. From silver, you can turn gold. I know we have a handful of golds on our meeting tonight, which is exciting, and at gold you get a higher bonus, which is $250. But that rank is based on points, and points are a very po uh, important thing, and Michelle reminded me today that we need to know what points are. So points are basically profit sharing, and from the very beginning of your business, you have the ability to participate in profit sharing with, the corporate, um, with our corporate headquarters. We do that based on, an, you guys, um, this is the comp plan, and I have a copy of it. I laminate mine. Um, because I have several copies, I carry one in my car, I keep one at my desk because I like to refer to it. Um, it's easy, but kind of complicated at the same time to understand. So as you're growing your business, it will make sense, but it can be overwhelming when you look at it. But there, there is a place for your points, and your points are basically, you're given a five points for every ambassador that is active or qualified under you. And so that point value, then um, the point value is determined by 
the number or the gross amount of sales that we do with corporate in a month divided by the ambassadors, the number of ambassadors that are signed up. If everyone has $100 go through their um, auto call, their backup order, their ship, the pay point would be $1.80. So if the pay point is guaranteed never to be below $1.80 because the requirement is for an active ambassador to be $100. If everyone that was an active ambassador sold $200, then our pay point would be $3.60. So I was wrong on that. I put something, I commented on something earlier today and that was the wrong number, but it would be $3.60. Think about this, our pay point today on our check for this next month was $2.76. So most ambassadors, if we take all of the sales that we're averaging, we're somewhere over um, uh, like 140, $135, $140 in sales. That number can really grow, that number, that number needs to grow. And the reason why is when you get those points, so let's say Tracy, you're showing up right under me, Tracy, Lori, and Patrice, they're showing up under me right now. So each of them are under me. They're all level ones for me. Each of them are worth five points to me at the end of a month. So if a pay point is $2.76 times 15, because they're each worth five points for me, that checks roughly 40 bucks. Am I right? Phil's laughing at me. I'm not a math major, guys. Anybody can do this job. About $42. Thank you, Phil. So. That $42, that's great, right? It's not a lot, but it's great to add to your check when you have a team. Now, when you're Phil and I at this point, how many points did we have, Phil? 2325. Between the two of us, we had 2325 points. You take that number times 276, and I see Katie Wheeler doing the math. I love it. At the bottom, she's sitting there scribbling. That number is? Aren't you going to do it? Yeah, just call it uh, He's saying, call 7,000. So call it 7,000, right? So that number grows. And then we could do Celeste's number and then we don't have an infinite on our screen, right? <laughs> She's somewhere over around the $200,000 easily. Pay points. Pay, for pay points. No. So that's the value of pay points. And that's why at Silver, where you start to, to really substantiate your business because you're, you're really, your business becomes point driven as well. So. We all, we all want to be silver, right? Raise your hand if you're silver right now. I see a hand up. I see a hand up. Or if you've already been silver, Erica over there doing your hair. Okay, thank you, Sherry. So when we turn silver, what happened in your brain? Something switched, right? Because now you're a business owner and you're really ready and set to go. So how do we get there? The first thing I will tell you is to make a list. Why make a list? because you need to be able to start thinking about and strategizing who you're gonna share with. We have all shared our business on Facebook, and yet I would think that each and every one of us have had a conversation with someone in our life that we didn't just meet on Facebook or didn't just see a post on Facebook, right? So we start a list, we ask for a list of 100. You should be glad that I'm not Tamara Holloway. She um, asks her team to give her a list of 500 people. That would freak y'all out, I know, and you would all quit. Erica's face is hilarious. <laughs> no. But the reason why is because what we want to start doing is that you think of, okay, so-and-so that I work with in the church nursery, I'm going to write her down. Then I'm going to write my neighbor down. Oh, and then her, when I'm at my neighbor's house, so-and-so is always at her house. I want you to start making a list of all those names. Here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to prejudge. If you think that they're skinny, if, they, if you think they've never been sick in their, a day in their life, um, if you think that they have plenty of money, they seem very well to do. Don't assume anything. You, we do not know what skeletons everybody has in the closet, but everybody has some sort of skeleton. And a lot of times it's related to money or health. So you might be withholding a gift or an opportunity for someone else as well as yourself by not sharing. So don't assume. The other thing I'm going to say is don't take it personal when you do make a list and you think, and you think oh gosh, that person will never would never buy something from me or would never think that I'm credible. Don't, don't make it personal. It's not about you. This is about the products and about the opportunity. And we have seen over and over and over so many people find so much health and wealth through this opportunity that we can't allow ourselves to get in the way of our own success or someone else's. I always say you cannot guarantee that someone's going to lose weight 
or, or strike it rich with this business, but you also can't not guarantee that because we don't know. All right. Um, so going back to this list and thinking about who's on your list, once you have a hundred or more, I want you to really target 10 of those people. And what do I mean by targeting 10 of those people? I want you to think about the people that you ha can have a conversation with that you can maybe pray for that maybe you can reach out to. Um, because when we're talking about a list, we're not going to sit and go through it in cold call because that's not what this business is about either. This business is relationship driven and we want to share where we, where we find an opportunity to share. So target 10 of those people and they need to be for both the business as well as them, as well as the health. I don't want you to go, well, I just got to focus on people that need the product because sometimes people need an opportunity to make money more than they need the product to feel better. It's just the God honest truth. And then once you have your 10 people really isolated, highlighted on your list, that these are the people that I really feel like I'm supposed to help first or go after first, then I want you to set, and here's your homework. Ding, 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 ding. Your homework is going to be to set three appointments. And I'm going to ask that you do this this week, but I know obviously with convention and we could list a whole nother, a whole list of excuses or reasons why we can't do it. Um, but I want you to try. And what I mean by setting appointments, it can be setting up a chat. It could be setting up a phone call. It could be going to coffee and lunch, dinner, having people over just to come hang out and talk. But here's the caveat and the piece that I want you to think about. When I suddenly show up to Virginia's house and I've known her now 15 years, maybe longer, about 15 years. If I show up as the candida expert, She's going to be like, I've never heard that word come out of your mouth before. What, what is this that you're talking about? And so she starts going, wait a second. How does she, that's not what her degree is in. That's, we've never had that conversation. So there's doubt before I even really open my mouth and sharing with her. But if I have Vanessa come with me to go talk to Virginia, but Virginia doesn't know Vanessa and Vanessa talks about Candida, she's going to value and Vanessa's going to actually validate our product more for Virginia by being involved in that three-way conversation. So what I want you to do is think about your three people that you could easily reach out to this week. Ask your upline or a Plexus buddy to be a part of that conversation or meeting with you. Now this does not have to be an hour long meeting. This does not have to be a big to do. This can be a, Hey, um, Amanda and Katie and I all get on a chat group and I'm like, Amanda, I want you to meet my friend Katie. She's lost 35 pounds. She looks amazing. She never thought she would not be off of Cokes. And Amanda's like, oh my gosh, yeah, I have a Coke addiction. And I don't have a Coke ad addiction, so I can't talk about Coke addiction like Katie can. So I get Katie involved because Katie is the expert or the connector or the connection that Amanda needs. Now, if I'm talking to Beverly and Charles, about, uh, you know, the next step of retirement and wanting to build an opportunity, then I would go to maybe somebody else that's had that experience in that same framework um, and share, have them share, or actually I would have them share with Virginia so that she could hear so that would work out. That's a really nice little connection there. So you see where I'm going with this? We want to take somebody else, bring them into the mix and have a conversation, have a um, kind of address ob objections. We want to address um, and, and addressing objections, guys, is great to do before it comes out of their mouth. So if I know that money is an issue with Sarah, then I'm going to talk about how to cut, how to find the money in her budget before she even talks to me about, well, gosh, I just don't think I can afford this. So, and I know Phil's, Phil's like breathing down my neck. So, Hello, everyone. So uh, I love this phrase and hopefully it's applicable and I'm hopping in and ruining your flow, but... I love this. Jesus could do no miracles in his hometown, which means the people that he grew up with knew all those stuff that he may have done before the age of 12. Um, didn't, didn't see him sense. as, yeah, didn't see him as the Messiah. They just saw him as that, that kid, you know, who's a carpenter. So it's the same with our family and our friends and people that know us for our lives. They might not see us as that trusted advisor, but a complete stranger, they would put more trust in. And that's why it's good to do the, th the uh, three-way calls like Jen said. Yeah, I think I said all that, but thank you. I didn't say the Jesus thing. All right. <laughs> so we're going to do that three-way call, three-way chat, three-way Zoom, a meeting, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
And if you need to access us to do that, if you want to run through that with your upline before you meet, um, let's do that, okay? But think of the three people. I'm going to, and then this is the other thing I want to address right now. There are lots and lots of things that we can keep ourselves busy with that we think we're really working on our business and we're not. So you have got to start evaluating your time and see what am I doing that's income producing for my business and non-income producing. Going on chat groups and um, getting to know somebody in the, that's in the Plexus business might be awesome that you're gonna meet up with and oh, you live in my same town and all that. That is not income producing time though. Um, spending time designing a business card is not necessarily income producing. Um, you've really, the two things where you need to be spending your time is either in sharing the opportunity, which is the products and the opportunity, or researching and understanding what it is that we do and, 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 and the stories we have to share. Outside of that, I know for me at the beginning, I was thinking about my business nonstop and I would tell um, Phil, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted from today and just with everything with Plexus. And he'd be like, you didn't even leave the house. Like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, well, just, you know, like, I'm just really, I want, I want this to work. And I looked in my back office and, oh my gosh, my PV is only at, you know, $185. And again, all of that worry, thinking, strategizing, not income producing. We want to paint a picture, guys, and we want the perception to be for the people that are watching us because they're <coughs> always watching you, that your life and your time is well spent. And that means that you spend time with your family and you spend time working on your business, but you have priorities set for those things. And that will also bring me to, and I addressed this this morning and talked about balance. It's very important. We all strive for this thing called balance. Um, but Eric Worre, I know some of you saw this last week or maybe the week before, talked about how balance is not about in a day going to say, checking off all the lists and going, well, I went to the gym and then I was the perfect mom because I made muffins for the firemen and then I did this and then I did this at home. I made dinner and I cleaned house and I was this awesome wife to my husband and I also went and closed a million dollar deal all in one day. Life is not about a balanced day as much as it is about balanced in general over periods of time. When you start your business or you're at the place where you want to grow your business, you need to be focusing most on your business. There might be times where your kids all sit and eat a hot dog in front of the TV while you're on a call with your team, with a potential, or you're attending a meeting. I cannot tell you how much, how much meetings matter. Meetings make money just plain and simple. And so if you want to see the seed and the fruit of your business, you're going to have to be a little imbalanced for later now. And that's really hard. I can, I tell people all the time that the reason why we took our kids with us to Hawaii this last September is because we had sown seed in them and we would tell them time after time when we were gone or mommy was doing a meeting or even like now they're getting themselves all ready for bed that what mommy does is a real blessing to not have to go into an office but this is the kind of thing that I have to do so that we can get the things that we have and we've been able to achieve that. And so when we earned that, when I earned that trip to Hawaii, they were part of that. And so they got to benefit. that. So, okay. I am going to open. If you guys want to unmute yourself, if you have a question, that is all we're going to address because we're going to do this. We have five weeks in June to kind of talk through the whole process of, um, silver. And we don't have, I think Phil's going to actually do the call, um, next Monday. So, any questions? Somebody has to have a question. There's too many of y'all. You have to talk to me. Any tips on setting up these three three-way meetings? No, I don't have a tip, but um, I want to help one of my ambassadors do that. Okay. So and we've talked about it. We were actually in a training the other day. I went to her house and we did a little training on the back office and different things. And in the middle of it, one of her girlfriends called her and said, what are you doing? She said, Oh, I've got my friend Katie here. She's training me. I'm on Plexus. She's like, Oh, what's that? Tell me about it. And she, oh my God. she did so great. She said, Oh yeah, it's health and wellness stuff. And it helps people lose weight. And it's helping me with my 
arthritis and oh my gosh, I feel so good. And she's like, oh my gosh, I think I would love that. And I know so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so that would love it. Let's get together. Awesome. So right away. And I said, well, okay, yeah. If you want to bring me in on it, I will help you. We can all do lunch or whatever. So. And for some, yeah. And I, I'm not, I don't mean to cut you off, Katie. Um, no. But the, uh, the caveat for my leaders that are on this call right now, mm-hmm. sometimes we hold back and we say, okay, we're going to just wait. And even Vanessa, I would put you in this category because you've started to grow a team and pretty quick. <coughs> we kind of sit back and go, well, let me know when you want to get that done. Okay. It, it, it often never comes up until they finally have somebody approaching them. More times than not, and Erica's really good at this, let's get together. Let's make this happen. Let's do this. Do you want to, I'm free Monday or Wednesday. What works better for you? And kind of, kind of drag them a little bit, kind of, because it's a scary thing at first when you're first starting your business, you, you, they don't want to get out of their comfort zone. So if you kind of try to drive the reins with that a little bit, um, you might see more results that way. And speaking of, okay, so we get in front of somebody and now what? We all should have a 30 second elevator speech for lack of a better word. So I know Jennifer Schrock just started a, a, a thread on this. I think yesterday, I think that was who did it. Um, I like to say that I'm in the business of changing lives. Somebody had said that to me um, last year at a, at a meeting that I was at. And I really loved that because it catches people's attention because it's like changing lives. Like what? Um, and then I say something like I represent a health and wellness company with the most amazing products. And then I kind of go in immediately into my testimony. Um, as I think and see is fit. And I know Erica, I love Erica's aloe juice. Will you tell that story, Erica? She's muted. You're muted. Good. Which one are you talking about? About the aloe juice with the guy in the store. Oh no, that was, um, oh, I thought you were saying allergies. No, you're saying aloe juice. What are you saying? Aloe juice. You know that nasty aloe juice. Oh, I thought it was allergies too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, when you see somebody doing something like purchasing that nasty aloe juice, um, why not approach them and tell them, you know, that stuff's nasty. What have you tried that? You know, yuck. I have something with aloe that will help with absorption. That's so much better and so much easier to take that you don't have to gulp down like that. And then just go into talking about X factor, you know, it's, it's, um, just a way I'm not afraid when I see people, um, using a product that I have, I know I have a better product for, um, Oh, you jumped on me. Oh, that's okay. I was just like, whoa, where'd she go? (laughs) Okay. Yeah. It was just, it's a great example of taking an opportunity and finding a way to in, in, you know, kind of influence or put our um, product in our opportunity in the middle of it. And that just takes practice. And if you can give yourself the out to say, I can totally screw this up because I don't know this person and they're a stranger and I can walk away and not worry about it. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? They were buying aloe juice in the first place. They're, you know, whatever. So um, find those opportunities and then use them. And really do pull from your um, upline to really help and support you. Can I say one more thing? Yes. Um, I think that it, it's a great opportunity, and I keep meaning to do this, and I just haven't. But when allergy season is bad, go to, the, to CVS and kind of hang out in the allergy aisle and see <laughs> what you'll find. I mean, why not? You, oh, I used to have to buy that. It's so expensive and it makes you feel like crap. But ever since I started taking ProBio 5, I don't need to do that anymore. You know, you who cares? You'll never see these people again. It's not right. a big deal. You can pharmacy loiter too. You could just hang out until you yeah. get out, right? Who cares? Awesome. Well, I am very excited for all of you. Thank you for being committed to your business. Thank you for giving um, us this time. This call will probably be the one that's on tomorrow that I will link versus the one this morning because they got the practice run for sure. Um, if you have questions or clarificate, you need clarification on anything, you can certainly reach out to me um, or your upline. And for those of you who are headed to convention, we will see you there. For those of you who are not, we will keep you posted. We will make sure we do our best to make you feel like you are there with us in spirit. And as soon as we know, 
anything that's going on, we will be sharing. We will be posting the new product and all the new lo the location for leaders retreat and um, everything. So, anybody else have anything? I do. Yes. Um, when you're doing Sorry. the three way calls and stuff or meeting up with someone, so I set up a meeting to meet with a friend. How do I bring you in on it? Like you're meeting a friend or someone for lunch and how do you say, oh, I brought my friend Jen and they weren't expecting it. How do you do that? Um, I think that the language that we use, we always want to be really, um, we always want to be positive with the language that we use and strong, powerful. And I often say the word aggressive, but oh my gosh, I wanted you to meet my friend Jen. I hope it's great. It's, uh, it's okay that I brought her for lunch. And even if it's you're having lunch, maybe I'm just going to stop by. Okay. Or maybe like Lori, we talked about, and we do the surprise call, which we both have agreed that maybe we're not ready for that. But if, you know, who's to say that it won't work, but I really think that the language and making it not, it's not pressure. It's just sharing information. Okay. So there's, we're not asking for anything. We're not getting a commitment out of anyone. We're just simply saying, Hey, I, I thought that you would love to hear Jen's story okay. and maybe from a business perspective. I'm going to come in and share my business testimony. Okay, that works. Okay, awesome. All right, well, I'm going to end the meeting. You guys have a great night, and we will see you all soon next Monday. Bye. Bye.